Hello everyone and welcome to Coach Parshala. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate random values in Microsoft Excel. Uh, to be specific, I will show you how to generate random number, how to generate random character, random date, random time and random value between some uh, specific values. You can see in the screen uh, there are some uh, demo of those random values so without wasting any time let's get right into it first i'm going to show you how to generate random number and to generate random number we're going to use a formula i'll go to the formula bar and unlike every time else before writing any formula you have to put equal sign and then type r a n n d this is the short form of random and after typing r a n d after that if you put uh, opening first bracket and closing bracket and if you hit enter you will get some uh, random data which is in a decimal point value and if you go to the bottom right corner you will find the plus sign click on that and drag down as long as you want and you will get the random values in decimal point now i'll show you how to get random numbers between a specific ranges like i want to get a random numbers from 1 to 100 so how to get that go to formula bar erase the formula uh, select on the top index type equal sign and type r a n d b e t double e e n rand between this is the short form of random between after that you have to put brackets and inside the bracket you have to put the range as I want to get uh, random numbers between 1 to 100, I will put 1, 100. And if I hit hint, and if I hit enter, you you can see that we got a random number which is between 1 to 100. And if you drag down, you will get random numbers between 1 to 100. Now I'm going to show you how to generate random character. To generate random character, we are going to use the same function that we have used earlier to get, to get random numbers. We will select the top index, we will go to the formula bar, put equal sign and then type R A N D. You can type it or you can just uh, right click, uh, double click on the suggestion. Then you have to put the ranges. Uh, you must be wondering what could be the uh, ranges for uh, characters let me just uh, let me show you if you go to the ascii table you will see that uh, for abacus alphabet the decimal value starts from 65 and ends at 90 and for lowercase alphabet it starts from 97 and ends at 122 so we have to put these ranges to get uh, uppercase alphabets we have to put 65 to 90 and to get lowercase alphabets we have to put 97 to 122 inside the range of uh, ran between suppose i want to get the uppercase alphabets so i have to put the range i forgot the range which is 65 i guess which is 65 to 90 65 comma 90 this function will get me random values between 65 to 90 now what i will have to do i will have to go to the top index and before ran between you have to put another method which is called character and the short form of character is c h a r and after putting char you have to put the rest of the method method 
inside first brackets and if you hit enter you can see that I have got a random uppercase alphabet and if you drag down you can see that we got random uppercase alphabets now if I want to get lowercase alphabets I just have to change the ranges inside the ran between formula the decimal value for uh, lowercase alphabet starts from 97 and ends at 122 so if I just change the value so if I just uh, change the value inside the ran between formula 97 to 122 it will get me the lowercase alphabet get me the lowercase alphabet and if i drag down i will get random lowercase alphabet so this is how you can generate uppercase and lowercase alphabets now i'm going to show you how to generate random date to generate random date we are going to use the same method which is a ran between so select on so click on the top index go to formula bar put equal sign and then write ran between and inside the bracket we'll have to uh, put the first date and there's a specific way to write that date you have to type d a t e date and after that bracket and when you put the first bracket you can see that it's uh, showing us the suggestion that you have to put year then comma then month comma day so i'm gonna set the range from january 1 2021 to 31st december 2021 so we're going to put that like this 21 comma 1 comma 1 then closing bracket comma date bracket and inside bracket 21 comma 12 comma 31 and this will get me random dates between january between 1st january 2021 to 31st december 2021 so if i drag down you will see that i have got random dates between the specific dates so this is how you can generate random dates now i'm going to show you how to generate random time hit on the top index go to the formula bar hit equal then type i'm gonna double click it ran between and inside the bracket we have to put the range from 1 to 1000 to get random time we need to generate random decimal values from 0 to 1 and if I just divide it divide this by 1000 we will get random values between 0 to 1 if I drag down I will get random decimal values and after that if I just uh, change the format into time the time you can see that I have got random time including uh, AM PM mention see this is uh, so easy so this is how you can generate random time now I'm going to show you how you can generate random value between some uh, selected values I'm going to show you how to get random colors between red green and blue to do that hit the top W S E choose opening bracket then type rand between okay. here you have to put the range since I am only getting uh, colors between three colors red blue and green I'm gonna put the range from 1 to 3 and after that you have to put the selected values which are red and you have to put that into double quotations
sorry i have typed red before now if you hit enter you see that i have got a random value between these three specific values and if i just drag down i will get random values between these three values now you might be wondering how to uh, expand your selected values if you want to expand your selected values just change the change the range as per your uh, selected value suppose i want to add this color values between four selected values so in that case i have to change the range here one to four and i have to put another value which is white I'm sorry I should have uh, put that value into the top index so what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy this formula hit enter and I'll paste it in the top index and if I just drag down I will get random color value between this four specific color values so this is it this is how you can generate random number random character random date random time and random value between some specific values here is another thing you might have noticed that after changing value into another index these values are getting changing constantly suppose if i put 5 here you can see that all the data are getting changed since they are in the formula and since this is annoying uh, you might be wondering how to get rid of that to get rid of that you just have to copy all the values and paste it here and select the paste option select only values and by clicking this you will get only data you can see that there is no formula here you just have only the data See? this is how you can get rid of this uh, annoying thing so this is it this is it for the tutorial thank you if you have enjoyed the video please like comment share and subscribe thank you and if you have anything to say please let me know in the comment section below